Hi everyone, my name is Walid and I'm the co-founder of Mr. and Mrs. Vintage Typewriters. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Silver Reed Portable Typewriters. This tutorial also applies to Royal and Imperial Portable Typewriters that were manufactured in Japan in the late 70s and early 80s because they have the same mechanism but they only had different brand names. Please subscribe to our channel and press on the notification button to get notified of any new videos we will be uploading. And now, let's get started. First step to start using your Silver Reed typewriter, you have to unlock the carriage. It's locked. To unlock the carriage, you have to move this small lever on the far left side of the carriage top to 1 and the carriage will be free. The same lever we use to unlock the carriage, we also use to adjust how many line spaces we, uh, we need when typing. So for one line space, it's one, there's another two options, it's the one and a half and two. The zero is the final option. If you use, move the lever to the zero, it will be freeing the platen without any line spacing. Usually one line space is the most common used line spacing option on the typewriters. Now we move on to the margin setup. All typewriters usually have two margin setups to adjust before starting to type. The left margin and the right margin. On the silver reed, to adjust the left margin or the right margin, you need to press it down and you freely move it left or right. The right margin is responsible to set up where your line will be ending and the bell will ding. On the left side, it is the uh, point where you start your line, so the carriage will not advance more than the set, set line spacing on the left side. The carriage release lever is one of the most important levers on typewriters and on the silver reeds it's on the right side. Usually you put your hand on the left side of the carriage to support it and to release the carriage you need to press on the lever and it will be free to move. Some of the Silver Reed typewriters have a paper support on its back. Usually to release it you just press it and it will pop out and you can use it to hold it, uh, the paper while typing. Now I'm gonna share with you how to reverse the ribbon on a silver reed typewriters. Preferably I'm gonna be removing the lid to show you. To reverse the ribbon from typing from left to right or right to left, there's a two pin lever on each side. To change the ribbon direction, you simply just move this two pin lever and it will change the direction. And to change it again to the other side, you can just also move it and it will reverse direction. Any one of these will work in different and uh, opposite directions and can be used. Some of the ribbons have metal eyelets on them and when they reach the two pin lever they will automatically reverse the mechanism from one direction to another. Now we reach the keyboard section. There's a lever on the far left side to adjust the tension control for typing. From L, which is low, or H, it's high. You simply move it from low to high. On the right side, there's the color selector option. You can move it from the first color selection, which is usually black, to the red, which is usually the mostly used as secondary color. And in the middle, there's the stencils, which usually typing without the ribbon moving. Just to confirm that some of the silver reed models don't have a color selection option. It only types with one color. And the other, uh, some other models don't have tension control as well. Silver reed typewriters have a backspace option. You press it to move the carriage from left to right. And the other option is the tabulation, which is not also uh, found on many models and uh, found only on a couple of silver reed models. Tabulation on the silver reed typewriters is usually preset, 
So to use it, it will stop on preset stoppers. Kindly note that we have the silver read manual available on our website where you can download for free and use it if you need more help on using your silver read typewriters. Next on our keyboard is the shift keys. There's two shift keys on the silver read typewriters, the left side and the right side, and we use it to type on uh, using our capital letters. To type on in capital letters, you press on the shift key right or left and press on the key and it will type the capital letter you need. To lock the capital letters and always continuously type using capital letters, you use the key on the far left side above the shift key, which locks the shift and you can continuously type using capital letters without stopping. To unlock the shift, you simply press on the left side shift key and it will release the shift lock. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the key on the far left side here. It's the margin release key, which is important to use while typing. The margin release usually releases your margin and you can pass your margins after pressing it. How to use it? Usually when you're typing a letter and you reach your last letter, the typewriter will stop and to type a couple of extra letters, you press on the margin release, it will release the margin and you can continue typing without any problems. Same applies to the left side. If you need to type past your left side margin, you press the margin release and it will move normally without anything stopping you. One nice trick we always love to share with our clients is the margin release is also used to unlock or release your keys. What does this mean? So usually when you're typing and accidentally you have two stuck keys on your typewriter instead of touching the keys from the top and pushing them back click press on the margin release and it will return the keys to their normal position now i'm going to show you how to insert a paper inside your silver reed typewriter to do this you need to use a lever on the top far right side of the carriage it's a paper release lever to release the lever, you need to push it to the back. You get a suitable paper and you insert it. Then you grip it back, the same lever, to grip it. Using your knobs, right or left, you insert the paper, feed it until it reaches the paper holder here and you hold it underneath, above the paper to make sure it's in this position. To adjust the paper position you ungrip it again. You can freely move the paper now. You align it from left and right. Then you grip it back and now it's held. You can't move it and you feed it to the line you want to start typing on. Now it's time to type. Now we typed uh, the line and we need to move to the second line. To do this, we need to use the long arm on the left, the line spacing lever. You hold it and push it all the way, shifting to the second line after the first line. And now you can also type normally. And as you can see, there's two lines on your paper. Now to remove the paper, you ungrip the paper release lever and remove your paper and grip it back. Now as you finish typing, you need to relock the carriage. To do this, you use your carriage release lever and move the carriage to the left side. Using the carriage lock, you simply push it to the point position and then move the carriage to the central position. 
and now your carriage is locked thank you for watching the video and hope you enjoyed it and found it informative please let us know in the comments below which typewriters you want us to demonstrate next thank you